yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? We back with another edition of the best podcast you never heard of, the Conceited of Nobody. This is episode one. I got that fast. One eighty one one eighty nine. Time sure does fly. Man, what the fuck? DJ. That's why I need a man. I need some fucking text, man. You already know I am this Latour, aka Dark Skin Thanos, aka Hard Bob Harrison, aka Fan of Facts. AKA the Apex Spreader, AKA the King of 2021 Self Proclaimed. Uh, from 1979, 1979 running uh, concurrent. I've been a man since I've been here. <laughs> Don't let nobody fool you. We about to have a fantastic show. This is the year end episode. Uh, shitty because I ain't do a mic check. I don't know how the mic sound and the signal is reading. My shit is very loud. I don't know how that's going. What? Damn. Anyway, to my right, we already know how we do it. I'm all out of whack. Let me gather myself, gather my wits. I'm out of control. The crowd getting to me. <laughs> the crowd, I'm missing free throws and shit. I'm gonna hit them when they count. To my right, we got the man of the hour. Running some from up on you. How you doing? Man, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Everything, just everything. Yes, sir. So long. <laughs> you say so long. That's that's tough coming from Eden. <laughs> that's tough coming from a heathen, a nigga who hates the most hard. <laughs> Shout out to you, Jew. To my left, skipping uh, the media left. First off, Corey's gonna be here in a minute. He's gonna come here with a startling uh, interest, I'm sure. Uh, them motherfucking Arthur glasses. I'm <laughs> like, Arthur, man. <laughs> hey, we got the wolf on concrete, man. This nigga here like a hoodie hood rat. What it is, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Uh, Mountain of the Midwest. Talk of the town. Talk your shit. People's channel. Talk your shit. Out here doing great things. Talk Talking shit. shit. I'm swallowing spit. Just trying Talk to get some shit. cash. And, um, you know, catch my black ass every Tuesday around this time on the World Schools Podcast. And next, hey. and next up is my nigga. Hey. You can't take my thunder. You don't have Take my mother. Whoa! You took my thunder. Whoa! That's my thunder you took, nigga. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Then he, he been waiting for the last episode to prove his metal. You know what I'm saying? I can introduce him. Russell Westbrook, this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jerry. Yes, You're going to have your moment. My boy, my man, Chicago's very own, Jason Rizzi. You forgot that Bitcoin Billy, man. I told you. Bitcoin Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoin Billy. I like that. AKA. I told you something else, the new world, man. So you got to throw them cryptos in that motherfucker now. <laughs> new ways to get paid. Meta Mikey. Bitcoin yeah. Billy. Oh, the Meta Monkey. <laughs> I said Meta Mikey. Oh. Go <laughs> see Fist of the Wasteland so you can see these nigga punches. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to oh, the no, movie. you can't go see it. Oh, yeah. That was a that was a show sure classic. Low key. That's a movie that you can show. You're going to be able to watch any any day, any era, any decade. Oh, You're going to be able to watch that motherfucker. We ain't even talk about that. We had our little viewing party. I said little because these niggas failed us. It, it was predictable. As I told Juvie, I said the only people here was the creators. You know what I'm saying? No offense to the motherfuckers who watch creation. Uh, we was here, Jeremy and me. Jeremy acted like I was trying to get some pussy. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy texted me at 4 in the morning and said, oh, I fell asleep. <laughs> I was so fucking offended. I was so fucking offended when he said that. I ain't never. That's the first time. Listen, listen, listen. First time in my life a nigga has ever texted me and said, and I can hear the yawn in the text. No, I fell asleep. I could hear that shit. I was up like, oh, fuck, I fucked up a Friday. I miss the money. I miss listen, the girlies. Listen, 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 don't put me in there with the girlies. 
Don't ever book me. <laughs> I, I imagine it was a group text. Because somebody <laughs> said, who is this? <laughs> but no, man. Just go to the room. It, it was a fantastic showing, man. I'm a fan. I don't be, like, I don't be wanting to seem too biased, man. I be like, I'm not biased. I'm not actually a fan of it. But I know I'm a fan of it because, for one, I'm a movie connoisseur. I love movies, man. I love movies. And, I, and it's crazy because I'm just told between two of my, like, favorite things. That's boxing and being filmed, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I know, like, when I can appreciate the talent and shit, and I, and I know it's not because I'm close to the situation. So when you're watching it and stuff, and what the funniest thing to me that me and Jermaine talked about later, I said that I can see your nervousness. Okay. And it's a, you do, like, I wonder if this shit good. Oh, you know I'll say that. Yeah, 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 because when you when you I doing you something, man, you be like, I wonder what the fuck they feel. It's you always, it's always yeah, yeah. any creative thing. Man, yeah. it's always, man, I want, I, I want these motherfuckers to enjoy this shit. Like, that's because you thing. are your biggest critic. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure. The only thing I'm gonna tell you, the only thing that I didn't like, I didn't like that you was uh, Marty Janet. <laughs> I hate that you put the secondary motherfucker, man. I think this nigga Shawn Michaels. Why is this nigga on here with brown hair? Why is Jason a brunette? This nigga's supposed to be a blonde, honey. He's supposed to hit the nigga with a thrust kick at some point in this fucking film. Why yeah. he can't be wrong? Oh, oh yeah, there's like, a reason to, to respond to that. Yeah. I feel like you have one of those characters where, like, even if they didn't plan on keeping that character in the series, they gotta bring you back. Yeah. On everything. You know what I mean? Like people don't know. Everything. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, like you just brought that sauce, you know, with that character to the show, but like you brought that same character. Like, damn, I ain't planning on putting this character in there mm-hmm. <laughs> next season and next whatever. It's like then you gotta bring him back. Everybody's talking about this character being that's why abuse coming from. Yeah. What you about to say? Nah, nah. I was just saying that COVID it was really the only reason because it was supposed to be longer. Remember, it was supposed to be more of a closer to a feature. So, yeah. like, even the stuff that got cut out, it was at least should have been at least forty five minutes or, or nothing else. But uh, uh, that's when more of the martial arts and stuff come in. It's more more of an actual fight. Like that was only just like I said, it was part one of it. So. Um, it's gonna be a, a, a second part, or it's gonna be a series, whatever the go. That's one of the goals of it. So that's why they're uh, streaming it and screening it to see where. Is it in film it. festivals right now? Yeah, that's where it's at, mm-hmm. and that's the only place it's not available it's for general screening. Not yet. No. Y'all, we we was on some exclusive shit. Mm-hmm. You fucked up. Big time yeah. behind the scenes. You missed, nigga. We was at the Cannes Film Festival in my living room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talking about uh, Jason. Talking about Jason film. Uh, uh, uh. What's the name? Fist of the Waste. Fist of the Waste, man, Jason. Entering the motherfucking building. And it's terrorist code. <laughs> 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 What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Fresh himself. Definitely okay. in the building. These niggas about to start fucking dancing, playing like a Michael Jackson video. <laughs> 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 hey, man. Right. Cool you you fresh? Ain't no time for that, nigga. Just get the game. Go to the score table, get the goddamn game. All right. Hey. I'm down for the right. Hell no, I ain't gonna get here and shit. Tears the Kiwi's first play. Oh, no, I, I, I got to play one game. I get paid for the whole season. Hey. But yeah. What up, Corey? What's happening? What's happening? First off, we all recapping the movie that y'all missed. You and Jeremy. I'm sure y'all some weird shit in Burlington fighting over a polo shirt. Well, <laughs> Jason. That's the way it's lame. But listen, shout out to Lance too, though. Uh, even though I lampoon the fact that you didn't have a bigger part, Lance got busy. Like, I'm telling you, man, when you like film, man, you look for intricacies. You look for facial expressions, body language, things like that, man. And I can appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm a fan of yours, like I always said, man. So it was a privilege to be able to watch here. Watch it here as a premiere with you. Uh, I'm just glad y'all enjoyed it. What you mean was here looking like Lisa Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> we this bitch like called Jim and shit, you know what I'm saying? That's what I told him. We, he said, I'm the only motherfucking girl here. I said, these bitches don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to everybody, though. Uh, we had a great time, and we're going to have a great time with tonight's show. This is the end of year in review. Uh, we might have casual topics. We don't have anything concrete as far as like we've discussed. Everything will be organic. Jay-Z is the greatest rapper alive. <clears throat> Nobody can beat him in the verses. We're not going to harp on that. Um, 20 uh, I'm going to be here because we signed Jay Tony. The second day after Jay-Z. Verses is some stuff with people. Real people quick. stuff to prove. Real quick. Truthfully. Real quick. Real quick. So, 
He'd be lyrically to live probably. But he wanna rhyme like common. Who, Jack Cole? He ain't been rhyming like common since. But he wanna rhyme like common. That's but he, he ain't rhyme like He wanna be a Chicago nigga though. Who? Like his essence, he wanna be a Chicago nigga. Talking about Jay. He talking about Jay. He talking about Jay. He talking about Jay Z. Yeah. Oh, oh. This is. I'm gonna tell y'all. Jeremy don't believe none of the shit he's saying, but this is how he's saying tune for you. He knows <laughs> yeah. young bitches ain't going for that Jay Z talk. He gonna kill his whole clientele if he say anything about a motherfucking Maybach. Oh, like, <laughs> that Bentley. That Bentley Continental. That Bentley. Hey. Or he can't talk about Bentleys in, in, in a land full of bitches want to see you in a box Chevy. Man, like Chicago, takes me around the same age, man. I'm not. Me and you the same age. Uh, I'm 32. Me and you the same age. He wasn't in high school with you. <laughs> but, but you know, back in the city, like they wasn't no super Jay-Z fans like that. Chicago ain't like, if you look at Jay-Z metrics, Chicago ain't one of his top markets. Like, we don't buy into that shit, nigga. It's true. I mean, it was it's true. Yeah, other Jay-Z fans. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's just not yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. not like I don't think I don't think, man, I, think man, I, know. Know. I think it's saying not like everywhere else, but it is a lot of Jay Z motherfucking fans. He bad they I was a Jay Z fan from Chicago. I'm not like everybody. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> we not even talking about fans. We talking about quality of me. But I'm talking about about the CDs and shit. Yeah, me too, me too. But it, it's all good. Decent, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. What do you say? He said, uh, Lil, he said, Jay's the GOAT. He offered me my masters. He said, there's nothing else. Nobody can top that. That's why I said. He said, try to get his masters back for him or whatever the case may be. What the hell we got to do with Orange, though? Nigga, sell an album. Oh, he's but I'm gonna tell you this though, like, Wayne said that shit from a place of respect, which is respectful. It's commanded yeah. from him to say that. But Wayne know he not fuck with me. Yeah. Man, Wayne, Wayne well, know he is. Wayne know he not fuck with you. I mean, it's it's crazy because that's your idol. Do you think your Wayne idol. has any unbeatable songs that would beat Jay Z? I ain't. First off, let me say this in defense of Wayne and Drake. After Jay Z, it's hard to find someone who would smash. Cause I, I said on air and shit that Wayne versus Drake is the competition I like to see because that's yeah. like the the motherfucking final four like that's that's Duke UNLV 1990. Oh. But I'm talking about motherfucking Bull Six Rings <laughs> with Jay Z. Uh, it's levels to it, man. To it, and, 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 hold on, hold on. This is what I'm talking about. I think people underrate uh, Jay Z's pop slash commercial songs, the uh, his hits, and more importantly his classics that he has, and more important than that. His lyrical ability, his ability to uh, make a song, his ability to create hits for other people, not hop on other people's songs. as what Drake does. Drake makes a lot of his shit by remixing other people. Hold on, hold on. He I'm, hold on. No, 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 come on, put your hand up. Hand up. I'm just saying, yeah. man, like, I'm gonna be saying, bro. <laughs> like Jay Z been doing that goofy shit. They say Drake got that shit. What? 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 Like, hold on, 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 hold that's yes, nigga, these these was authorized this, songs. This, first. You know, this is Jay Z just oh, jumping no, on the song and shit getting hot. This was your, it's a it's a difference how music is going now. They it is a ball. These motherfuckers, the Migos will make a song and it, listen, it benefit them because yeah. Drake hopping on it, but Drake hops from wave to wave yeah. to wave. I'm not. That's not what I'm talking they about. Jay Z was going back in the day. Nigga, Jay Z was on Juvenile for one degree. They asked him to be on that. It's a remix. You invite me. I'm not. Oh, oh, I'm not hearing your shit on SoundCloud. I'm not. Oh no. I'm not hearing your shit on SoundCloud. Nigga, he jumping on. He did a song masterpiece. That everybody do collaborations, Jeremy. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Because this is for everybody. Know we on video. This will be on YouTube soon. What the fuck did Jeremy look like with that hood on? What do you look like? like? What do you look like? One of them drill niggas. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, grown ass Chief Keith. Yeah. yeah. You old Chief Keith. Yeah. I'm surprised you still like around a race car driver. Yeah. Where is it? Yeah. 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 I ain't got to keep them up in the drill. That's all I'm saying. Well, that nigga was stunned on the ball head, didn't he? Yeah. Stunned on the ball head. Them ball heads, we say Lou Gossett. But uh, you say it's on the book, see them ball heads, Lou Gossett. Come on, man. My nigga Weezy. No, that's no, 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 no. I'll tell you, I'll tell your defense, Jeremy. There's only one song Jay ever jumped on on our drive, and that was Pump It Up to talk about the nigga who created the song. Other than that, he had never jumped on the drive. But I'll be like, what the baby? I'm talking ball and name with the nigga on ball. 
That was a diss. That was a diss. No, I'm saying. No, it was a diss. That was a diss. That but he still was, jumped on it and he got play though. You don't the song got played and street. radio spin, nigga. He <laughs> got radio spin. That was a diss, man. <laughs> but listen, to, I do want to say this though. Tell the Jay Z and his affinity for uh, J. Cole, but it's this guy named Kendrick who's doing this shit around J. Cole. Yeah, running circles, rapping circles, running circles. Rapid circles. <laughs> rapid circles. <laughs> I think, no, think rapping circles being making better songs, don't you? Shit, yeah, why yeah, can't yeah. they be? Yes, the fuck he is. Yes, the know. fuck he uh, is. Nah. Yes, the fuck he. I'm not. And he, might, and he might have verse of the year. Why can't they on, on that baby kill? On that baby kill. Oh man, yeah, baby kill. That's my no. verse of the year. And he's talking to he's talking to Jay Coach. Three stack verse on fucking Kanye. That's not correct. I stand correct. That's pretty nice. Nigga talking to him, mama, mama and like, nigga. This, this, like, and I just talking to him. My Mac was giving her a year review. Starting off right there. Hip hop verse of the year. Corey had my ear. Jerry stole my heart. <laughs> <laughs> listen. That three stacks, listen, and he's so first erratic off, with first it. First off, first off, it's it's an arguable, it's, 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 it's an arguable topic. If arguable is the word, J, J. Cole versus Kendrick. So I ain't gonna just act like it's, uh, I'm just Kendrick fan, so I wanna say yeah, that. But I, I get I give it to you because that damn album, if he had that damn album, I wanna say Good kid man singing it! Good kid man singing it! Oh! 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 No, 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 After good kid, Kendrick just been knocking him out the park. I didn't feel the pepper butterfly, man. And I didn't the first time I heard it. Good kid, man. I didn't because it sounded different. It sounded yeah. different, but when I went back and sat and listened, I said, "This nigga saying some shit." He said, "It's my least favorite rap, but he's on there." Like oh, I'm not even a super take old fan, mm. but I'm like, "Damn, this boy." Hold on, let me tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all this though. Good Kid, Mad City oh, is man. a classic. I'm talking about you can put that up there with any great hip hop album ever. Project Pat Mister don't play. Everything's working. You just a hood rat, man. <laughs> you sit around, you sit around talking crazy. Your baby daddy eating hot Cheetos. <laughs> I can't that out. We just talked about this shit the other day. That's one of the greatest rap albums ever. What? Project Pat, Mister Don't Play, Everything so, Working. Can I interject real quick? Yes, just this. Um, uh, according to BET.com, uh, lyricist of the year is J Cole, and uh, hip hop artist of the year is Lil Baby. Do y'all agree? Okay. Hell yeah. Well, for people that pull up music out, I mean, you kind of have to go with them. Well, baby, you're on stupid. I'm just, I'm they just say J. Cole was what? Lyricist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lyricist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lyricist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is this competition this year, though? That's what I'm saying. Uh, he, ain't nobody really dropped no album. I mean, we don't know. Are you talking about according to them? Benny yeah. the Butcher, Drake, Lil Baby, <laughs> Make Him the Stallion, and Nas. They just had Thor Girl in there. First yeah. off, uh, the only person who knew him, Cole Run, is Benny. Nas, nigga. No, little baby. No. I, love, I love Nas to death, but Nas put out three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so we talking about this year, my bad. Yeah, yeah, sorry. yeah. Historically, that's I'm sorry. Yeah. Historically, I'm, I'm not this year. When Cole was talking different. about being in the studio with Broski and shit, he was like, how he came up with that shit so quick, he had to be like, damn, I'm trying to keep up with the young boy. Talking about who? Little baby. That nigga ain't, yeah, how he. He ain't saying no creative shit. No, no, we're not listening to that shit. He's saying some shit, man. I mean, to like, uh, listen, hip hop artist of the year. Uh, hold on, man, real quick, real quick, real quick. For anybody who don't listen to Benny the Butcher, go listen to Benny the Butcher. Incredible ass fucking artist. Uh, I'm in my plugs too. I'm gonna tell you though, yeah, underrated shit this year, and I really don't want to big him up on this show, pause. Tyler Perry got busy. Yeah. I was just about to throw that in the Tyler got busy. That's two years in a row he got busy. Damn, I'm surprised you're a fan of him. He was hip hop artist. Uh, I like his music. I want to say I'm a fan of him. I'm but just saying the fact that he like a, 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 a known He had the album of the year. I don't know if he trolling. I don't know if he trolling. He might not be. I wouldn't troll that uh, way, yeah. but. Uh, ain't nobody going to troll like that. People don't troll like that. He might be right. He did that like an album, though. That motherfucker. There is that game. Uh. What was it? Tyler got a nice camera. Tyler got a nice camera. I think it was like the album or something. Yeah, yep, yep. He said, I'm going to drop names just as Jason. He like, fuck you, Tyler. On that little verse. You can tell he's going to send him that shit, though. Yeah. I wasn't a fan of his. Nah, I'm talking about him. Tyler. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Earl Swisher over right there. Yeah. He popped. He got better. He got better as he got older. Did Frank Ocean really pop? He made one CD. You don't want to be around that part. Oh, man. Frank Ocean made like three CDs. Yeah. Nah, I must miss that. Because, um, 
Well, he did some up. kind of crazy deal that where he had like two second legs of pay him at the same time. Uh, listen, real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh, my favorite Frank Ocean song does not have him on it. It's a solo reprise by Andre. Speaking to, let's just get back on track. And we're going to get your list. I'm glad you pulled that list up. This is the year end review. You. Who, uh, yeah, what kind of nigga make an album called Blonde? Yeah, two albums. Verse of the year. We got Channel Orange. And that Blonde. Blonde. Okay, well, somehow it's like a Blonde mixtape. got that solo reprise on it. But it's like a mixtape. Somehow he sold that shit and two record labels paying at the same time. That's why I like a lot of shit. You didn't want to change the rapper? No, it's a lot Jerry of shit. Jeremy Bell Bill here because I know because I was in the studio. Like shit. <laughs> I just can't help. Who you, what's your verse of the year? Uh, 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 Dre. Yeah, because it's you're my man Yeezy, so you know I'm biased. Come on, man. At least let's yeah. talk. Don't talk to him and stuff. But... Nigga, I, man, I'm biased. I, I vote on my feelings. Nigga, I'm hitting it. So he was through Yeezy. Makes me like the verse even better because I'm a big fan of Yeezy. It's Yeezy from the crib. You rushing on like a woman. <clears throat> no offense to the women. Uh, but I can't disagree with you on certain. Oh, what? Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. These Don't say that. 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 You ain't never the bitch this pretty. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Uh, that's your pick. You got a pick? I don't have one. Uh, listen. Hold on now. You already heard my pick. I'm too. You got one? Yeah. This song was done. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, hey, Miss Donda. Man, that little baby verse on Rise of the Devil. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Miss Donda. That right there. I'm going to tell you why, because it's like he put a lot of thought into it. Kanye, yeah. he talked. Kanye, of course, named his, his album after his mother who passed away from Blotch, uh, Brazilian Booty yeah. Surgeon. Yeah. Once you trying to get some plastic surgery. Yeah, I thought it was like a facelift or some shit. Anyway, that's uh, yeah, really plastic surgery. Um, he made the song where he he talked. I thought he was gonna be talking about his mom. He ended up talking about Drake. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, no, that ain't song. It's called Life the Party. My bad, my bad. Yeah. But Drake, I mean Drake, it's Andre three thousand, Mister three thousand, Mister Benjamin. He is conceptual and all. It, he one of the rappers who you feel like he know he's doing art. He's not just rapping it. It's art. And the reason why I say that, he know that the concept, the album was named after Kanye's mother. He know that Kanye's mother is deceased. His mother is deceased. Um, he goes into it, and he don't even talk directly to his mother on the board. He conveys his message through Kanye's mother. So it's like, hey, Miss Donda, can you tell my mama this, that, and the other? And he go deep, like the shit's so deep, he go deep into the things that's bothering him, uh, his, his feelings about his, the relationship between his mother and his father. You know what I'm saying? Where he say things like, and it's, everything is fucking relatable. Like, she gave me her name. Was it just to spite you? You know what I'm saying? Did she give me her name instead of yours to make you upset? And then he attribute that to the fact that they was young, making decisions and shit based off the feeling. You know what I'm saying? Where when you make decisions about feeling is up and down. It's never consistent. So he, uh, so he, he saying that shit. And he like, maybe she talking to me through the prick of the grass. I'm landing like the shit so fucking visual. He said the prick of the grass make me get up and be like keep going type shit. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The shit is so fucking visual and shit, man. And it's, it, I'm saying this, man. I never said this, and I've been waiting for at least uh twenty years to say soul stern. It motivated me. I said, this shit is incredible. Like, if you like art, man, and you hear that verse, you can visualize everything he's saying. And that's why that's my favorite verse in that regard. But just on some spitting shit. Please say smoking on your top five tonight. Yeah. Tonight. Yeah. Smoking on <laughs> that smoking hard drive. Apple, burn that hard drive. Get rid of I am shit. Omega. Nigga, that was a good album. He had some tracks on that album, too. Which one are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. I ain't getting around to listen to that shit. Uh, yeah. 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 That's what he thinks. And Kendrick said some shit on that motherfucker. Like, he said, I ain't with this fake protest and this fake woke shit. Uh, I like that shit. And that's what, and for me personally, that's what separated him from, from that lot. He came in with the Big Shots, the J. Coles, the Drakes. He got a lot of context to his music. And if I got to go in the honorable mention, that uh, Barry the Butcher on Longevity, he talked some shit on that. He got like, uh, that how I made my plugs too. The song with him, French, and Jim Jones. 
That's crazy. That's probably my least favorite. Uh, but yeah. Benny Al. Is it? Benny. Yeah, I yes. just, I yes. just that on Who y'all artists again? You, you said Lil Baby you? No. No, but Who you are? You got an artist here, Jeremy? Shit, uh, I put my Spotify soon as I play them up. That ain't, we just trying to pick, pick some shit out of this one. I got either Benny or Conway. You fuck with the piano music? Man, what's man. that piano? What's, what's that yeah, shit? That shit hard. 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 I'm going to tell you, you got a hard ass verse. Man, the man on that, uh, on that, uh, I forgot who song he on that motherfucker with. It's either Conway or uh, Westside. Uh, I think it's Conway. Method Man got them, them them niggas drive like two albums a piece this year, too. Conway and Ben. You got who your favorite artist? J. Cole the Chief? I mean, he ain't even on that count. J. Cole, J. Cole, J. Cole, J. Cole. Yeah, and everything, but no, if I, other than J. Cole, man, I'm going to go. I mean, if that's your artist this year, that's what it is. Yeah. For that album? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say. I guess I give it to Lil Baby. Give my verse of the year, Lil Baby. Verse of the year, important to BT was Jay Z, what it feels like. Nowhere near. I mean, I'm nowhere near. I ain't heard it. Nowhere shit. fucking near, man. And I liked it, but I liked it. I didn't love it. What was that on? BT, I'm BT's dinosaurs. What was that on? What it feel like? With that Fred Hampton movie. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I can't even think of that one. Yeah, that one was crazy. How is Megan getting on these lists? Is that just because they have old girl out there? The machine. They got to have one. The machine. The machine the and the way you know what? after they go to trial in January, I, I don't think it's going to be. Uh, after they go to trial in January, I don't think that machine going to be too much. That uh, old boy done sold 300 for 400 million. What was it? Kevin Lyles? That had on, who was the old Def Jam guy? Kevin Lyles. Lyles. Yeah, he had on 300. What's 300? That was a uh, record label that Megan and all them was on. Uh, uh, Megan, some other Tory Lanez, them. What, um. They was on the same label. What, um. Morning. It's fucked up. What's that girl that ain't lost her deal with uh, Rihanna? She had that, uh. It's the. She read the reality girl. I don't know. She had, she had made fun of uh, them size 14s that got shot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she got dropped. She got dropped. I can't remember her name, but she said, I want my deal back. Fanny dropped it. Oh, yeah, damn. she said, What's her she? Uh, it ain't sweetie or her no. mother. Mm. No, she a reality. So you you were doing shit like a year after the shit you did, talking about, I want my deal back. That's just being tongue in cheek, nigga. She like, Y'all fired me, find out this bitch was lying. Yeah. What? You still be talking about the bitch you uh, left? Yeah, Dre. Yeah, Dre, Dre, Dre. You be asking about that yeah. bitch. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Would you switch your shit to, though? Oh, uh, Lil Dirt. Mm-hmm. You be trying too hard to be cool. You be trying too hard to be you cool. You got Lil Dirt? You just think I'm cool. the year. You not. Please, yeah. <laughs> I know you are one of my. You, you, just, you, you just think I'm cool because you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, 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 i no, he's black. Lamont, no. Uh, it's something like that. That's a, that's a little black dude, though. Uh, Come on, you're a smart mouth that. motherfucker. You're a smart mouth motherfucker. Like, yeah, what? Oh, what? what it's a comedian. Honest? Like, and it was a black dude. You remember that black dude, uh, man? Lee, hey. Hey, Leroy. Oh, <laughs> oh Leroy. You, oh, you talking about, uh, uh, fuck, I met the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. He man. probably he watched his show. Yeah, yeah, man. I can't remember the nigga name. Right now. He probably like, ooh, he know me too. And then he just tripped. Oh, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I told you I was somebody. <laughs> like, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> watch this. Uh, so you, your, your artist is Dirt. Yours is who? Uh, I got Benny. Benny. Yeah. Who yours? Uh, I hate to be this thing, but I don't think I had an artist in you this year. I'm that nigga too. So I don't think sorry. I had one. And I feel unfortunate. And it's because I don't listen to Lil Baby. I know I hear him or I hear about him every day, but I don't I don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I don't know what's cool with him. So people like him though. Yeah, they uh, do that. He he just Yeah, I don't I what guess. Happened? That's it. Didn't Big Sean come out this year? Willie Tyler. That was last year. That was last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he was Willie really Tiger. Tyler. Tyler. Willie Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. Tyler. That's yeah. like old ass dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, the nigga was born in 1940. That's not. That's not. I got a picture with this man. So. 
He does. <laughs> you want to play a talk to me? Then you say something. I definitely have laughs in my face. Damn, he still doing shit in 2020. He's doing shit yeah, recently. Probably. Damn. Light bills still do. Corey, Corey, I ain't noticed you growing your mustache back out. I see that. I see. I have my hair cut for all this shit, though. Grow it out, man. Grow it out, man. Come on. Shit. Think I see you with them whiskers and shit. <laughs> whiskers like a rat. Like, hey. Corey looks motherfucker dead, but there is mustache too, man. That motherfucker like he ain't gonna Billy D. Williams a bitch. <laughs> but uh four hours this week. Don't you ever disrespect my beard like that again? <laughs> 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 hey, we, we amongst friends is palapicia. <laughs> <laughs> but those are our artists in here. Uh what's the oh we're gonna run through that that list, man. What's I don't wanna like measure tragedy, but what was the most shocking death in hip hop this year? Nah, hip hop. That ain't no goddamn shot. I've been waiting for that cracker to die the last 20 years. Boom! Yeah, dog, man. Look, yeah. why is Ali Sombert? Over DMA? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'll be like, Man, I'm sorry. So, we talk about a person. We talk, yeah. this is a human being with children. Okay. I'm not, I'm listening. He could be asking children. you what he was doing for us. I should have told you to leave your gangster outside. That's his opinion. I should have told you. A nigga knew he had kids and he was doing drugs. Yeah, come on. Hey, hey, you, know, you, know, ass, man. Hey, you know what You know what he said to the dog whenever they got to wear their spoon? Oh, you here already? <laughs> <laughs> I got the hey, I got the fifty, nigga. Hey, and hey, I was the user. You wasn't the user. And I got I think Dolph was suicidal. He went out like a goofy. But I'm just saying his death impacted you. You think Dolph was suicidal? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know what you're saying. This is this is the thing I want to say. Uh, anybody got that list? Cause I ain't got my phone. Yeah. Anybody, this is the thing Jeremy said, and it stands out to me, and it's remarkable. Cause the last time I was impacted by a hip hop death was in 1996. At the age of 42, I'm not impacted by none of these niggas' deaths. So how did the Dolph death impact you? I didn't tag him. Yeah. Oh man, because I was like, damn, this was a young brother who was out here doing it. But he just because he was young, dog, don't mean he was a young brother. Boy. <laughs> Younger than me, though. Boy, so, Adolf Thornton. I was just like, damn, bro, that's, you went out like a goofy. You too grown to go out. How did like it impact you? Because I'm like, I expect more from certain people. I'm like, you damn. You said bro. for a minute, doesn't it? Yeah, nigga. <laughs> you say it now. You hear like, this. Like, you hear this like I, I was sad when Kobe died. Nigga, I was like, damn, bro. We grew up with Kobe. We grew up with Kobe. This is different. No, nigga, anytime you do some goofy shit and you die, I'm like, damn. What made it goofy, goofy though? Because he ain't told him it was bad weather. He was like, fuck it, it's just up the road. You don't know what the fuck happened. Well, that's what they say, nigga. You don't know what the fuck happened. My point is, though, I can't be impacted by these deaths. I can be, like, touched. Uh, even though we know that DMX was a, a recovering addict or a current addict, I don't know. The fact of the matter is that I came up, like, in, in when I was coming into my own, when I was trying to figure out things and shit, a lot of time I was spent listening to it's a dark helicopter. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I was a young man listening to this shit, uh, and, and I was... Impressed, you know what I'm saying? I was a fan of this yeah. person. I was younger. He was my older me who parts me and shit. Like, damn, I wish I could do that. He was like, one day I'm gonna tell a girl, you suck this dick. Who? You suck this dick. Who? So I'm being naked out there. Do your girl voice. Oh, yeah, do it again. Do it again. Nobody would never fuck you with that voice. You <laughs> 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 DMX shit was kind of only only different in that we grew up with DMX. That's what I'm saying. And, and that uh, like he looked like he was on the other side of the sh you know getting yeah. closer to maybe the other side of the shit. But you know he keep having them backslide moments, and we like, damn, we want to see you win. But that kind of like who was around him getting hot with him. Cause he, that's that bitch. He ain't no victim. We ain't gonna bang him around. No, no, I'm just saying, like, who's a nigga, like, shit, hey, I got I got some shit. Who's a nigga, like, hey, I got some shit. That nigga was serving him. He was like, no, that nigga was hurt. Like, nigga, you damn right. Somebody gonna give you some money. Hey, I heard about Earl. Cause he trying to play it off. You know what I'm saying? I heard about Earl. Is it true? Can you go through the phone? Cause he said he gonna cash at me this $2,000. I know y'all going through some shit right now. I'm giving DMX no credit, nigga. DMX is the fuck you with. 50 fucking times, nigga. This the lie. This the lie, though. This nigga lying. He ain't talking to DMX in three months. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he 
trying to be respectful. This nigga ain't saying shit about DMX. Hey, uh, <clears throat> this, this Tommy is rolling around. I, well, you know, I know he ain't around, but I heard something on, on TMZ, and you know, <laughs> TMZ rarely wrong, but I know he got people who, you know what I'm saying, depend on him, and I'm one of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, DMX has some dependence out here. I know he just did a versus lately. So I know he got, he got paid. And you that. know what? Hindsight 2020, because when you seen DMX on that verse with Snoop, it was like one dog that looked like they're going to get through the year. <laughs> you know oh. what I'm saying? Only one dog looked like they're going to fucking make it, man. <laughs> and I'm saying, because when I seen that nigga do one of these, I said, that's the damn dance. Dang, how you dare me? You trying to live to the. He you know what I'm saying? Was high like, why are you dancing, day. DMX? This ain't what we do, nigga. We yeah, bark, man, we wear a chain. We owe money. That's what that And was. this is what's <laughs> fucked up. This was fucked up. Because usually when people get off drugs, they gain weight. Mm -hmm. He gained weight. So is it safe yeah, to assume? I won't say safe to say, but safe to assume that he was better off on crack. Is your thoughts? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> it's real accurate. And I take it back because Earl Sam is definitely one of the GOATs. He was the best rapper that passed away this year. Anybody disagree? Um, yeah. He's been the best man rapper the past the last five years. He might Shock be. He might no, be close. Okay. No, <laughs> he might be the best one to go since Biggie. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Is he? Hell no, nah, man. We done lost big fun. He was big fun. Black DMX. Black DMX. They make good music. He made decent music. He won better than DMX. He's a good rapper. He won who make decent music. He won better than DMX. Okay, just because a nigga rap, but he could make good music. DMX dropped the first one, dropped two albums. Boom, boom. Classics, too. Classic. Classics, too. Out the gate. Back to back home run. This nigga was Bo Jackson. Big Pun at best. Uh, was Big Pun had, had two dope ass albums. No, he didn't. He, did. he had that Double punishment one. and Yeah Baby. And that shit was put together. It and was yeah, like Big Pun. Like yeah Baby was That shit was like Biggie Duets. No, that shit was fucking finished. That shit was finished when he died. I'm trying to live, baby. He died doing promo. That's the biggest auto. That nigga saw lost his way. I'm trying to live, but that nigga was trick, tricking everybody. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to live, baby. Well, actually, he did, he did lose the weight, but then they say he gained it back, though. Quick as shit. He man. found it. He lost it and found it. Yeah, he lost it and found it, man. Sounds big fun. Let me quit being disrespectful. Yeah. Artists that you know, I, know, know, know uh, I would take, I would take, I would take, I would take Lamont Coleman over Big Pun. Big Hill? Over Big Pun. Yeah. What you say? Nigga, Big Pun all day. Over Big Hill? That's what you mean, yeah. too. But that's fucked up that we arguing about uh, dead rappers. I do want to say this. That list had 20 people in there. First off, shout, first off, shout out to Biz. Biz got up out of here. Yeah. Nobody beats the Biz. Biz got some of the most incredible fucking music in the history of hip-hop. Yeah, Biz. Shock G, he got up out of here. These niggas was dying in hotels. Uh, who else? Because I know it's another fine dude. Yeah, yeah from the Roots, dad. Yeah, yeah that's it's, only two, it's only two people in the Roots who count. Questlove and... Uh, <laughs> And Tariq. 20 rappers. Black Prince Marky V. Prince Marky V. Black Prince Marky V. Yeah. 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 This is the thing, though. Yeah. What I don't like, I don't like how they always categorize it as rappers. Yeah. A rapper died. That's disrespectful. Because this is the only genre of life when I when, when uh, um, Shaq G overdose, too. You was never, yeah. Them niggas on that fentanyl. Yeah. When, you never hear them yeah, make Michael a compilation Williams. of people who died. Michael Williams. Oh, yeah. He, he, why was he here? Yeah, shout out to Omar. Yeah. He got about it here. Right. Um, I hate when they be talking about rappers, dog, because y'all be taking away the fact that these people, you know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. And they act like that this particular genre of music is just absolutely dangerous. Where well, I think it's, just, it's, it's not a music thing, it's a culture thing. Because these people, they die living what they say. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's you glorify drugs, money, whatever, or bullets. That's how they dying, so it's not like it's something exclusive to hip hop or whatever. Another thing that I hate is when they talk about rappers dying in their own cities. Most people do. Most people die in their own cities. They're the most, right? Yeah, so I mean, people be thinking they said some deep shit. I don't even know that guy. I don't either. The only Draco, the only Draco we know is in respect is the one who's super in the most. <laughs> I can shot that nigga in the ass. Say <laughs> <laughs> what? They said, what are y'all talking, man? But they just found this little black girl in Calgary. She's from Anderson. Somebody, uh. Tried to run abducted away. Her? No, they abducted her and trying to, they're trying to track her, but they got her back in Calgary. Can she rap? 
That's what's so up. That's what's up. Well, then, what are you talking about, Dick? Slim Poe That was a truly don't look up reaction, nigga. If you see that movie on the screen. Slim Poe Honey, Dad. He's like, it's you know, so deep. Slim Poe Honey. Listen, real quick, real quick, real quick, though, real quick. I don't be believing them narratives, man. You ain't get kidnapped and take it take it uh, California. You got there and it wasn't what you thought and shit. I'm telling you, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on real quick. We're gonna get back to the idea of this. But listen, real quick. Bitches have no accountability in regard where they can we seen with the uh, one girl who was we uh, that's on like the, on everything you just said. No, hold on, hold on. This is how it was a, it was a five second countdown. It said you know what jerk makes? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, are you on a bus tonight? He was masturbating. Come, come to jerk bait. You play for the game. Take, you, take, you take, take your shirt off. You first. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. This is the thing. Hold on real quick, real quick to Juvie's point. I heard the story about the girl. Listen, these girls are not getting deducted. Ain't nobody out here snatching bitches, man. These girls think they grown. They go out there and don't be what they is and shit. And you ain't missing. A 10 year old can get abducted. How is that girl? Oh, no. She's like 16. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. That is a good way to get home for, for the low, nigga. I should have thought about that when I was living in Cali, nigga. Like, oh, shit, I ain't got nobody. They trying to fuck me. They trying to fuck me. They took me and made me make jokes. All right. probably was. He probably was. He probably was. That bitch just ain't go home when she thought she was going. She probably yeah. fucking with like a girl in there. She ain't like, you want to take this ride? That's how I have. Like, sure. That's how I have. That bitch woke up like, fuck, is that a pop shit? Like, where we at? Like, remember that girl? I said we was going to Canada. Remember that girl that trying to treat like a hero because she shot that white man when he was asleep? Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, Tamara Brown or some shit. Yeah. 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 Bitch, I said I, I said I was gonna take you on a trip. That's what all these niggas be saying in uh, Indy. They be like, let me take you, let me get you away from all this. Yeah. And you get there, you like, fuck, I don't like him no more. How I'm gonna get home, mama? Uh, I'm gonna tell you what made the bitch panic though. The bitch said, uh, you got charged. <laughs> He said, I got an iPhone. That bitch looked at the Android Plus. I gotta get home. <laughs> that bitch said, no, this crazy. This ain't your water. <laughs> this is rough. Hey, and street. Hey, and, and, it was, and there's some weird ass place like Montana when that shit hit. <laughs> that bitch doing her phone like this, trying to get a signal and shit. Right. I gotta get home. Then you went to the internet cafe to right. contact her. Uh, this nigga. Shot. This, this nigga don't know what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? He don't. He, he probably ain't got social media and shit. He don't, he don't even know he got a wanted bitch with him. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> Got to go to jail for uh, yeah. like Boston and George. Hey man, you got you got you got you got Tasha. Tasha, the smear. Yeah. These bitches ain't got no smear. So I was tweeting in my car. <laughs> this shit dangerous. What you mean, Mr. Ray? This bitch told me her name was Peachy. They used to leave this shit. I'm black. Corey's a remix my joke. Y'all see that? <laughs> they remix my shit. Uh, uh, Arthur Rise, you should have invited me. <laughs> <laughs> but look, remix. Look, what's that story about Slim 400? He got shot. Who can move? He got shot. Hey, but I thought that was Fat 500. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a Slim 400? Blim 400. What do you what do you what do you do? What do you do? He rap. Uh, he rap. He rap. Uh, he rap. Uh, he rap. Uh, he rap. 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 He Oh, that nigga died of prison death. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why these niggas killed him? He, he died of prison death. He died of prison He died last night. Yeah, they say that shit might have something to do with that motherfucking swim shit. Like uh, like some kind of gang war out there. He got out of prison death a year ago. Congratulations to him. He got out of his little grind going for that dude. Yeah, Reminiscent of Tupac. <laughs> Reminiscent. Uh, they said they was 15 deep fighting niggas who was 70 deep. Listen, listen. I don't, 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 don't want to die on no silly shit. But I'm gonna tell you, man, I don't wanna get shanked. Yeah. I don't I wanna I don't wanna die in commissary death. I don't wanna get stabbed, nigga. Can you imagine like and then you gotta do it like on uh Scarface. They look him in his eye. Yeah, you got to watch it. Yeah. Oh, 
Celebrities, but they have a stronger impact on their family and shit than a lot of these celebrities do. No disrespect to them, but I'm gonna shout out to them. I shout them out when they pass. I love y'all, and I hope y'all rest in ease. Uh, moving on away from some of the most somber moments. Anybody got a favorite movie of the year? I didn't really think on this, but let me throw mine out this real quick. I like the harder they fall. They be crazy because I, I like the harder they fall. Fucking movie theater shit, you know, like how they disperse the music and movies nowadays. It's still movies. Well, because well, what it is is they not uh, spending so much sensationalizing and advertising like this is gonna be the blockbuster event of the year. Like you ain't seen a lot of that shit. I like, think a lot of, I think that shit though is I think I don't think it, I don't think it's going how they plan as far as the releasing the HBO Max and Disney yeah, Plus. And I'm so glad because I'm a movie goer. I like going to the theater. Every chance I get, I go to the movies. They put Black Widow out on Disney Plus, which I couldn't fucking believe. That was Ooh, that was, and it I cost them money. Sleep on that. It cost them money, and they had to pay. Uh, what's the girl name? Scarlett Johansson. They had to pay her money because she was. I'm gonna say Spider Man. Nah, that was the movie. Year. Year. I ain't seen it. Oh, okay. the woman. You ain't seen it, but it's a movie of the year. Yeah, that's, 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 that's crazy. Damn. Damn. It's definitely not the movie of the year though. Me and Jeremy had a chance to discuss the Spider Man, the fantastic film, but. I asked him what he disliked about it. He said the exact same thing that I said. It's what? No, I'm not sorry. But you ain't got to that girl's back. Yeah. Hey, you ain't seen the movie. Come on, get back. I'm about to say, do we all see it? Come on, Yeah. It's too much shit going on. It's too many characters. 
It's like Spider Man 3 for me. Go ahead. They tried to use the web to weave it all together. They got the universes together. That's all it really was. It was a, it's a, it's a, it wasn't a lot of red cons. Wasn't a great, yeah, it wasn't the greatest month, uh, Fucking Marvel movie of all time, but it was just like, all right, I see they trying to put it pull it together like yeah. this and make it all make sense. And you watch that Hawkeye sticking to Marvel. Oh, we gonna watch the movie real quick. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta give it up to uh, Zack one. Snyder, Justice League. Ooh, that was, hold on, that was hold on, hold on. If we count that as a this year release, yeah. If we count, hold on. If we count it like that, I'm inclined to agree. Yeah, I'm about to say. If, if we, we count it as this year, year, it's not originally this year. You made me want to go watch it tonight. But the Snyder Cut oh, is fucking incredible, yeah. incredible. And I'm yeah. not using that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That shit is is on par with Watchmen because Watchmen used to be like my Watchmen ain't up there. Man, Zack Snyder be, be bringing shit to vision. Watchmen, man. Ain't, Watchmen ain't up there. But did you read the book? I'm going fast. I'm talking about the movie, nigga. That's what I'm saying. I didn't like the movie. See, if you read the book, though. I'm the saying I didn't like the movie. But if you would have read the book. I'm saying like, if I read the book, I said this is like the movie. I don't like it. <laughs> Fuck you, might be crazy, nigga. I didn't like it. So, but, but you we do see. like it, nigga. Okay. Well, in that case, I love it. But what you about to say? Have you seen uh, the, the Snyder Cut? I, I Snyder Cut. Oh, yeah. listen. That's hard. To, it's I'm a hard, DC motherfucker. It's a hard. It's hard to beat that. It's hard to beat that. But I did, like beat. I said, I really. Mm. Batman, I'm gonna fucking kill you in the end. Hold on. No, I, was, I really like the movie they just put out on Netflix though. That that don't look up shit. Who is that? Uh, it's a lot of celebrities in this. Is movie, it good? But it's mostly Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, man, you gotta watch it for what is. You know what they telling me about that? I heard that shit. Good, I'm glad man. you said that. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, watch that shit, man. It's like, oh, that's it. Perfect. Who made this? They say it was a comedy, but it didn't play as a comedy. But, uh, <laughs> shit, man. This is the uh, shit, though. This is the shit, uh, this is the shit, uh, you know, Justice League. Justice League, that, the first, the first, <laughs> the first one, I ain't really like it, but I tried to pretend I like, cause I like DC. Yeah. And everybody was talking about how bad it was, but I was like, it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, they want to see the Snyder Cut. First off, Snyder Cut 10 hours long. I was I just I was just yeah, like yeah. it's but not it's, that long, but, long, but it's so long. good you drew like, into it. I had to watch it in like three sittings though. I couldn't watch it straight through because it's that pause long. Ah, you can turn back. Watch the Snyder cut. <laughs> you ever seen the Justice League Core? That's it. Watch the Snyder's cut. I saw both of them and I do remember them. like yo, yeah. I remember the stuff. Max HBO Max. It was stuff in the trailer that wasn't in the movie. Yeah. I was confused. I was yeah. like, "Oh, this is the same twenty twenty one." Your Venom ain't that good. Damn, no, it's not. Neither one. Neither one. The first one. The first one. Snyder cut, man. I'm telling you, we gonna quit talking about. He could have changed the trajectory of DC. Yeah. He could. He could if they had put that out. Yeah. And Dory gonna fuck around and die on us. Cause that was gonna be a trilogy, nigga. A trilogy. What else we got on there for? Uh, Fast nine. I ain't seen the last two. I was just blue every day. Yeah, they did. Ah, they, yeah, they definitely did. I ain't seen the last two. It was hilarious. Vin Diesel got a brother all of a sudden. Yeah. Them motherfuckers are coming and shit. What about that? What's that? What's that movie? They cars and Voltron. Anybody? Did y'all like that Suicide Squad too? Nah, that was, I like that shit. Yeah, I like that shit. It wasn't terrible. Right, it was it could have been better, but for what it was worth, though, it was good. Yeah. I didn't like the film. What's that last name? I didn't like but the film either. Y'all know why? James Gunn is a pretty good director, man. Watch James Bond. That last name. No, you're not. I gotta check that out, man. I got fucked with that new King too. Came out on Christmas. I'm the first two, yeah. We want to see the Black Messiah. No. I like that. That's a good ass yeah, movie. Yeah, I like that. That's shit. in my top five this year. Definitely top five. I ain't even gonna tell you who they made. They trying to make the new double Who? Nah, Idris Elba, right? Black woman. Yeah, I heard it was gonna be like what? that. Man, shut up. They need to kill that. Is that a prediction for next year? We're gonna have a uh, yeah, we're gonna get a woman, a black body oh. girl. And is that, the, is that the films? Yeah. yeah. So my film of the year, up on, up on first. That shit. Bad, but it's not as bad as I had heard. What Matrix? Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna it's watch not. It. It's bad, but it ain't. It, it, people maybe don't want to watch it, yeah. but I watched it, and it's, it's the new Matrix. Is it was dumpster juice? Is they trying to recreate? Nah, nah. It's like they're they trying. The story Nobody shit. was good. Nobody was good. I that Denzel that movie was pretty good. What did that movie? Denzel, Jared Leto, Rami Malik, whatever. What's the movie, nigga? 
I can't think of the name of some of y'all niggas who play. You know, it. It. Oh, where he like the undercover. Fucking sheriff. Like he's a fucking sheriff or yeah, something. Yeah. Snake Ass came out this year. Venom. Snake Ass was horrible. I didn't yeah. watch that shit. I didn't watch neither one. Yeah, yeah, it, it was about. quick kicking there. Shane. Nah, Shane, but uh, Storm Shadow was. And that shit was all right. That shit was all right. I thought Shane Chi was damn near dumpster juice, man. That shit was all right to me. It started out good. Oh, I don't like how they trying to grab on that Asian shit. Uh, that Mortal Kombat was hot fucking garbage yeah, to me. That, that, that shit was terrible. Garbage! Uh, they making up characters and shit? Hey, hey it's too many characters for y'all to make up a character. That Mortal Kombat was the shit hey, show. Hey, they tried to make me feel like I was crazy for saying that shit publicly on Facebook, bro. That was, was a like, shit that show. Was that shit was a shit show. Was I, I hated that the shit. The bogus part of it, it started so fucking dope. Man. With that Scorpion and Sub Zero fight, yeah. I'm like, well, was this shit not to be good. Yeah. Yeah. And then it takes me to that weak ass nigga. The rest of the weak ass, rest of the movie. Bring it back at the end. <laughs> like, like, why don't you make the new character that you trying to pop? That pissed me off. Make him like a little you guest appearance or something. Body. Don't make the movie about him. Yeah. You got all this fucking backstory. Cyborg beat the shit out of Jack. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm just putting that out there. Boom. Cyborg DC? Yeah, he beat the shit out of Jack. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, listen. Let me say this though, just to come all the way back. The best part of Spider Man for me was seeing uh, Daredevil. Because if y'all watch the series, yeah, Daredevil, Daredevil, yeah. he deserves to be in the Marvel Universe. He's an incredible actor, incredible okay. character. I wasn't mad Fantastic. At, I, wasn't, I wasn't mad at Venom popping up at the end. Me neither. Cause but, I thought it was she the other way they did it though. Yeah, very bad. bad. Yeah, very bad. I agree. Very bad. I agree. But it fit in with the uh, Venom movie. This yeah, is what I, I came up with it. today because I was thinking about this. What happened is. So many companies watch Marvel make like over a billion dollars over that like twelve year span, and they told so like do it all in day. And they was like, you know what? We need a part of that. We ain't gonna take twelve years. We gonna take three, and the shit just ain't working. That's what happened. That's what happened to DC. Yeah, DC, fucking DC. Sony, fucking Spider Man. Can we get a new villain from Batman? Spider Man ain't that fucked up though. What this Batman? That shit looking kind of serious. With really, no, I'm just saying. Like, how many times we gonna see him fight the Red Lair Penguin, Joker? When was the last time we seen you fight the Red Lair Penguin? No. I mean, that's the only character. But still, it's like it happened. It happened. <laughs> but then it's like I can't Batman, Batman villains though. Like Spider Man, like you gotta fight Green Goblin. Superman. Yeah. But in like, all fairness, uh, it's like them fucking Fantastic Four movies. Like that shit didn't happen. Yeah, in their head. They like, nah, let's do it the right way. They gotta do that shit, bro. Yeah, see, yeah. Exactly. That's but, what they thought. But <laughs> you said you said you wanna see Scarecrow, didn't you? Yeah, Scarecrow, Mad Scarecrow Harris. Scarecrow was just in fucking the first time. No, he did. He had a, a cameo. No, no, my nigga. Scarecrow is the villain in Batman Begins. Batman Begins. He, he is played by Chilean yeah. Murphy. I forgot that Chilean. shit. I forgot yeah. that shit. Yeah. Yes, nigga, he's yeah. the bad guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he yeah, is that's one, of the, and that's one of the best Batmans, too. Hey man, kill that. Christopher Nolan made three of the best Batman, man. Christian Bale was cold. Yeah, Who was Bane? Bane? Bane was hard. The first two we fucking with. Cause I ain't got bugs. But yes, he was a uh, <laughs> he was the main villain. And then he did a cameo in Part Two because he was running the court scene. Ah, uh, Scarecrow. Ah, oh, yeah, because he had the shit going through the tunnel. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but I could have sworn there was another so villain in there. No, Omar. Oh, well, okay. It is, because he's Omar not the main villain. He, he just, nah, he counted the main villain. No, Fucking not. Liam Neeson character was like the master of control Gould. and everything. Yeah, Raja Ghoul. He's the main villain. But but Scarecrow. But Scarecrow got an appearance in there. He's a big part of it. Yeah, yeah. he's like a major part, but he ain't like no nigga. You like, is that Scarecrow? Nah, he's in the movie. Yeah. Do you think he'd get a standalone by himself as the only Hell villain? Nah. With Scarecrow? Mm -hmm. Hell. But what, what, okay, right, right, right. okay, what villain do you want to see? No, I would like to you see Scarecrow the last villain enough. Mad Hatter, like just the way, like watching the old. Because you see in, in Suicide Squad, they brought a lot of them out. And it's yeah. like, do you, do you care to see any of these people against Batman? It depends on who the writer is, though. If you was writing, how would you, how would you present him? If you present Mad Hatter, how would you present him? I'm trying to make a dope thing, but it was kind of like some shit you really can't. Like, <laughs> like remember on um, the regular, he had everybody with the mind control yeah. shit. So that's all the Mad Hatter really did. Mad Hatter, not even, bad. even, even if you do it right, 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 like he's shooting niggas in the face and shit. Yeah, just giving that real shit. Yeah, like shit, damn. Fucking with the Wayne family. They definitely shouldn't bring Joker back though. No. Nah. Joker shouldn't be Joker shouldn't be nowhere in this trilogy, in my opinion. Well shit, they got all these fucking It would depend on like how you do it though. It depends because are you gonna use uh Flash Come on boy, Phoenix? Are you gonna use Joplin? 
if you ain't gonna use him because he he just put a new twist on the I mean, joke. he did. He was if good, though. Him, if you can find a way to interwoven him into this story, because he's a quality actor, with a qual right. coming off a quality movie, I'll probably consider it. But when you just had a Batman, first off, the first Batman had a Joker, which Joker is his main nemesis. Yeah. It's yeah. like having a Superman series with no Lex Luthor. But even with the Superman shit, that was a big letdown. Like you said, they trying to put everything in the course of two, three years, because you could have did, like we seen on the, on the, uh, the, the cut, Dark Side. It was so fucking incredible. But now, even though Dark Side was before Thanos, historically, it looked like a Thanos knockoff. Right. That's the, even on there. It looked like a Thanos knockoff. And when uh, you a comic book fan, that shit don't make no difference to you. But when you a casual person and shit who don't know these things, it looked like some knockoff shit. Yeah, because the X Men but, movie, would you want to see it? Yeah, I'm glad you said that. They need to hurry up and introduce them to the Marvel. It's coming. Yeah. I need yeah. to hurry up and introduce them. You let me see it. Too. Let me see. I seen the last thing they were showing was like the Furious. Uh, Man, the what is the fucking four? Fantastic. I've been disappointed yeah. in the X Men so long. I, I want them to just stand down. I like the Brian Singer ones. Man. And do like a fucking. Yeah, I like your Brian Singer. Like, 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 like X Factor or X Force. Yeah. They could have left the Fiend. I like you. That's the only one I didn't like. Yeah. yeah. I and I like the new class. They wasn't too fucked up, but Apocalypse would have smashed the motherfuckers. Yeah. Apocalypse would have smashed the lineup they had against me. He had to watch them. Uh, well, she had to turn into the Phoenix in the end to get him. Yeah. I, I hate, and it's, it's with comic but if but I, but the she cartoon, they ain't had she. Cartoon, cartoon ain't like it's supposed to be, though. Yeah. Yeah. Phoenix is a monster. A, yeah. She's a fucking monster. Uh, real quick, though, I do want to see in a, in a, like a, a post credit scene Wolverine blood on the ground. Just give me that with Scott's glasses. Yeah. Give me something. And don't and don't put Halle Berry in my movie. See, I wouldn't mind staying on X-Men. Don't X -Men don't don't try, I just don't want to see, like, the X-Men movies. Do like the X-Men. It ain't going to make you feel Dude, good. Mm -hmm. X-Men are maybe the most popular Marvel characters outside of the, the, the motherfucking Avengers. Outside of your Hulk, your uh, Captain America, your Spider Man. Yeah, but I'm Spider Man. But I'm saying outside of those. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they definitely. Wolverine, like, Wolverine like, not, like, it's like not too many character. people. And, and Wolverine movies was good. Especially that last one with the girl. That was the one. The this last one was over and over. over. The last that's one was fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that Literally. first one, horrible. Dumpster juice. That's what we said. It Part two, been, they had a lot Samurai, not quite Dumpster juice. It's just like. Four day old milk and shit that's just been left outside. Like, <laughs> it was, but it wasn't. It was like, why y'all do that like that? Silver Samurai. Yeah. Like that. But then Logan. The other backstory I had yeah, it was fighting. I want to watch time. it again now. Yes. I'm a, the Logan. old man Logan. Hell yeah. Uh, this this some um, real quick though. Uh, da, 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 da. what the fuck I was gonna say? Damn, slip my mind. Strike. Um. Oh. They gotta do a better silver. Surfer, for sure. Damn, they so have to so do a better. I'm Silver Surfer is too incredible to be fucking weak. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, for one, that's the kind of character that you build up like seven years down the road. Like, like, like on one scene, you just see the fucking shit just There's so like, fly by. Movies. It's like the end credit scene, like a silver streak across the sky. Don't bring all that shit into like but one but or two I'm movies. I'm gonna tell you this though: Marvel not introduce characters. And whether you want to do it, if y'all watch the uh, series on Disney, you can introduce him with some shit like that. Because yeah. with Doctor Strange and uh, I, that's my that's my biggest one I'm looking forward to. Even over Black Panther, I'm looking for the new Doctor no, Strange. It's gonna be better than Black Panther. This shit, first off, Doctor Strange. I'm looking for everything, man. That more Doctor Strange is the Doctor Strange is the top five Marvel movie. It's the introduction. For sure. What you think is top five? What, what, what we talking about today? It's my it's my top five. Oh shit! Name 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 five better. Five better or like Simple five Marvel. great? Five, five better. We talking Marvel. Jeff Marvel or like Marvel? You haven't even seen it, man. I'm at this. I don't know. I don't think. Uh, you think Black Panther better? But then which one? Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah. I have to go with Black Panther. Uh, yeah. Let me not. Let me not get caught up in what I like. I'll go with that. Uh, I, I like. Think, I can think of two more, but, uh, but Black Panther, good, Civil War. That first time seeing Civil War was when Ant Man grew and yeah. shit, I was like, oh, okay, shit. long as the Black Panther the Civil War, Winter Soldier. See, I wasn't a big fan of Winter Soldier. It was decent, like I, it just didn't really get me. It was about the first Avengers movie. Yeah, because it was like, oh I shit. I would be for that. 
This the one. You're the only one. And I might. Game, I might. Game, be, one of them. Yeah, hold on, hold on. This this why I might fuck up at when I say top five. This, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, Cause the yeah. first Iron Man. That's it. Yeah, first, Iron, first Man, Iron Man is in there. I go. Yeah. I go Civil War, Black Panther. Uh, y'all ain't gonna like this one. And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Ragnarok. <laughs> That's no, that hard was hard to do. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Ragnarok. This one he was fighting Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the, what's the first one? What's the first one? Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. That, that, that ain't fuck with Dr. Strange. Okay. That, that, what party, what that party, that party, party shit. What else? What's uh the uh the first uh Chief Thanos? Is that the end game? Yeah. That's my favorite one. It wasn't the second Avengers movie. Yeah. That's my favorite one. There you go. Because Thanos is my favorite character, of course. You know, he copied off me on Dark Seed Thanos. He's just regular Thanos. Uh, <laughs> I see the fact that they have. But, no but it's definitely top eight. All right. I'll, yeah. go with, so I'll go with that fucking Winter Soldier. I'll go with that. I've already got a galaxy. had a scene in the last one where he was talking about Adam Warlock. But they ain't not released Thanos. They got to bring him oh, back. Adam Warlock, man, because that's the fight people want to see. Wait, Adam man. Warlock Wait. against Thanos. What about uh, Kane the Conqueror? He was hard in the bitch. You, and this is how I say introduce characters. They introduce him on Loki. Yeah, Did you, you watch Loki series? Loki of course. Nah, Loki, they, they, Loki was. Yeah. Loki was okay. That Captain Loki America was shit. It was that yeah. Captain America that was shit. Was that shit. I like Charlie. Wood, I don't think he should have been Captain America. America. I think Bucky should have been Captain America. But both okay. names happened, though. I think. Yeah. Why do you think that? Because it, um, Bucky uh, don't got that patriot feel. But following the original story. Uh, Bucky, any white wolf? Don't he turn? Now nah, Bucky turns a white wolf by the comics, don't he? Yeah, Bucky okay. was a fucking killer. He don't got the cat, the Captain America spirit. He was, you know, what I'm saying. Was he, he was, he on the yeah, he Dan Wilson was a patriot. He been, after the government, fucked him over. It's been yeah. so many different Captain Americas doing that regard. Boy. Uh, I still don't think the black dude should. I gotta finish watching. You so racist. I gotta finish I watching Hawkeye, like you talked about. Yeah. I only watched the first episode. I liked it. Uh, me too. Is it. Have you watched the series? Is it good? Uh, I looked ahead on some shit. I seen Kingpin back. Don't tell me shit. That Kingpin needs to be in the Marvel uh, Cinematic yep. Universe. And you need to and you need to introduce characters like them because everybody don't gotta be overpowered. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can have a Lex Luthor with a brain yet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I, I kind of always hated Kingpin. You did? Yeah, because like. He be going toe to toe with people like motherfucking Spider Man. He can fight. Oh. He can fight. He's he, he just a fucking human sumo wrestler, man. <laughs> Spider Man is supposed to just punch him and his fist. Man, let's do it. I don't care how what kind of like the original Juggernaut. He wasn't he, he like was big big like the dude on the. No, but Juggernaut was powered by that motherfucking Jim and I don't record. care about how many erected <laughs> phobias you got. If I'm Kingpin, I can bump with a fourteen year old white boy. And that's what me and White Boy can throw a bus, man. He can throw a bus, man. King Man can't just. No, he's not supposed to be able to see This is a comic book, nigga. He's a regular person. This is a comic book. Ain't nobody regular. It's not fair, man. But, okay, now let's get to our end because we have been running. Uh, fuck them topics. <laughs> fuck them topics. Uh, this is a year in review. Y'all know how we always do. I must admit that this is the first year in three to four years that my prediction hasn't come true, uh, barring a miracle. I predicted that Joe Biden wasn't going to get through this year. <laughs> and I meant it. And I, I still don't think he's going to get through this full term. He's he going to die. Joe Biden's going to die in office. Uh, I can't see that motherfucker slow walking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that motherfucker. <laughs> I can't see him get through three more years. It's too much shit going yeah. on. He might have the weekend at Bernie's, though, because we don't want Kamala. They already do the weekend at Bernie's with the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. shit. Where the daddy was dumb oh, enough to be oh, like, oh, oh, let's go, Brandon. Oh, let's go, Brandon. But listen, we're going to get to these predictions. I didn't, but I want to come about that over here. We all, this is your first year at the year end show, and we all make predictions for next year. I predicted that a rapper was going to get, a prominent rapper was going to get killed. <laughs> oh, but this is before they went on that, it, it was Nipsey year. Now you go before that, you find someone right before that, and you got me. I predict that. Going in the end of 2019, I said it's going to be civil unrest somewhere and we're going to have riots. That's exactly what happened when George Floyd uh, was trying to counterfeit. Uh, <laughs> 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 counterfeit. I feel with this Joe Biden, so okay, anybody. Boy. Prediction, he was on Foods and Pro. Yeah. He didn't sign with that, see? <laughs> <laughs> you got a prediction? <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, prediction. 
for uh, next year. Shit, um, I predict the Lakers team gonna blow up if they don't make the play. Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, I don't, I didn't mean to match up with you. I, I understand you are you. You can't help it. But let's don't state the obvious. Yeah, boy. this has to be something that's remarkable. Don't say something that everybody been saying since Look, October. It's gonna be Wednesday yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Tuesday. Hell yeah, I got I, one. All right, let me see. Shit, just come back. I got to think. It's gonna be. Yeah. Hey, yeah. we're gonna take this commercial break and we'll talk about Jordans. <laughs> it's not only meant to jack off, but Jeremy could have put some on his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm real. Damn, nigga, you got some work in the flow. Real nigga, out the trenches, all right? Woo. I put lotion on any leg in the summer. No, real nigga, have a shower, no oil. Shower, baby. Shower fresh. So fresh and so clean. They messed the blue, blue. They messed the blue. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the pool down, but I'm like, I got hypothermia. Run that shit. I thought he was long on the first. <laughs> <laughs> what you got for his quarter? Well, I was wrong a couple of years ago when I said Jay's gonna put an album out at fifty. I think he do something this year coming up, like another. Jay and then the day after Wednesday is Thursday. Jay, I think he's like fifty. He's like, come on, man. Then you put that album next year. Well, that's incredible. Let's see what that will come out. Regular Nostradamus. Will it do well? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Cause he always put out quality. Our tour. I, I, I see something where like more than just a verse. I can kinda see it, but yeah. Let's we gotta see if the prediction comes true, man. It's some deep shit. Okay, finna um I here go one, I'm just throwing some bullshit out there. Um they about to finally uh rewrite history in the school. They gonna finally uh, it's already been rewritten enough, but they really about to try to, they really going to get that slavery shit up out of there. That's what they, that's how they think of it. So they going to do something to remix it. They already been doing that, but uh, I think they going to successfully uh, push some shit through like that. It don't really affect me. Megan get dropped from her label after court. Hell no, man. Bring it back. Yeah, definitely, man. If it was Dick and Menage, yeah. Somebody who washed up and she was great hairs when they posted. Oh, man. They love a sympathetic bitch, man. Yeah. That bitch can come out right now and be like, so what I lied. And then these women, something about, oh, I can't shit. She was in the street. She changed her story. She was strongly enough to admit that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Can I piggyback off him real quick? The uh the uh the identification cards. I think they're gonna start trying to push that with the so they can let up on all these COVID restrictions. I think they're about to try to drop that uh universal identification card thing. That's gonna happen in 2022. That's seeming like that. Only way we're gonna get out of this for them to justify saying, all right, COVID over. Because they're going to keep pushing that shit as long as possible. And that's the only way. Like, how do you just say, all right, we done with COVID? Right. <laughs> like, uh, it's not. I want to piggyback off the Juvie's uh, prediction, too. I'm not here talking. This motherfucking lawsuit. So, can you smoke cold on my thing? Uh, I think that he's talking about the major digital currency, uh, the major currency chain. I agree with him. I just think it's going to happen in 2030. Because mm-hmm. they set this up for it now. It could happen in 2022. That's definitely something not to see where they're gonna push for uh because it's easier. They try to they try to introduce like what's something hard for the government to monitor. That's the fuck I'm on how they monitor what the fuck they want to. Um, but it's it's a way to control shit, you know what I'm saying? Because they tried with the cards and shit. People found a way to finesse the cards and shit. They really wanna get rid of cash all together. And what you do is you say shit like I'm not gonna be exchanging money with you because I got COVID on. You know what I'm saying? They're going to say it's safer to have commerce and shit, e-commerce with Bitcoin, Bitcoin. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, all this shit that works out, even with the, even with the, uh, even with the, uh, the lack of people working and shit. I'm trying to talk fast. So I, what you say? I just, that's the, yeah, yeah. just at the movie theater, I couldn't swipe my card. I had to pay that shit online. Yeah. Physically, I could not pay. There was no physical person there for me to pay. I just walked in. I didn't oh, realize yeah. I could sneak in to after I paid. Yeah, you ain't for sure, bro. <laughs> no, I didn't look around. I looked around. Look 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 like, enough for that. I, figured, I yeah. thought it was a ticket taker. No, I was like, I was like, I'm looking for my movie theater. I'm like, what a ticket taker? Ain't no ticket. Oh fuck, man, we could have snuck in. My prediction. My prediction. Did you at least see an extra movie after that? My prediction, real quick. It's gonna be. It's gonna be some kind of aggressive attack on. I'm about to say the same. On us asserting ourselves as Israelites. It's going to be something because the, the way it didn't get too strong to where people just from all walks of life just talking about us being Israelites and stuff. And they what what that does, it, it fucks up the dynamic and the fabric of the world, the make-believe world to where just asking all these people in Israel where they are, the quote-unquote Jews right now. They got a lot of sympathy based off that and they was put in that land based off of, of a lie. If this truth is exposed which it will be. Nothing they can do about it. But when it is exposed, it's going to fuck up the world. And it's going to usher in the uh, new kingdom. It's not coming that fast in my prediction or my assumption. But it's going to be a more aggressive attack this year. And they're going to have a lot of passes. They're going to have a lot of uh, black celebrities who say we Israelites. Then they're going to double back on it. I don't know if y'all keep up with Mark Sotomayor and shit, but he was one of the first uh, quote unquote celebrities talking about yeah, it. Talked about now he over here and shit with Yannick on and shit practicing Judaism. So it's like he 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 going against all the shit that we we stand for, whatever. But it's gonna be an aggressive attack on us. They call it black identity extremists. That's how they uh, tout it, or whatever. Yeah. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a aggressive attack and stuff. They already treat them like cold to where or a uh, flat earth. Where if you go on YouTube and shit, you put in uh, Hebrew Israelites and stuff, it will show you a bunch of mainstream shit before you can get to the meat part of what it is. So it's gonna be an aggressive attack on Israelites and shit. Not not black people. Jim Corey don't know how you just call That's how that bitch got kidnapped. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but listen, another fantastic show, another fantastic year. This is episode one eighty nine. Eleven more shows. We're two hundred and fourth. Anybody can count. Uh, we will have some fantastic going on for two hundred episode. I don't know exactly what or where the venue will be, but we will have something going. Anybody want to say anything to wrap up this year? Hey, it's been a blessing working with you, gentlemen. Once again, this year. On one of the best podcasts you ever heard of, niggas. Uh, make sure y'all follow at Go Jason now on our social media and follow at TCK Podcast on Instagram and YouTube. YouTube. And YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I ain't in that roster. I'm gonna see fucking roster now. Shit. Go <laughs> ahead. What else? Shit. Uh, Fuck. I just want to say, uh, it's gonna be a good thank year. you, uh, good brothers, for inviting me to the show. Uh, it's been a dope ass year. Speak prosperity in the next year. Keep chasing this bag. And uh, real nigga ain't never gonna change. So I ain't gonna have on lotion next week. Cause it is what it is. He defined to a fuck. Mm-hmm. He defied us and shit. At the, just cause he, he wouldn't be defined. Had him crack. I know your legs hurt when that wind hit you and shit. Want to break that shit. That shit hurt, nigga. I know what. I know what. Real motherfucking. Uh, look like elbows, nigga. 
real black man used to this shit. That's real, baby. That's what, man. Them young bitches ain't be going for that shit. Dude. Yeah, well, fuck. She like, where your bad body? Nigga, a bitch gonna, mm-hmm. bitch gonna buy whatever I sell, nigga. Hey, listen. Oh, it's a great year. It's gonna be even greater year. Definitely. Sure. Fantastic show. Fantastic. Corey, you got something I'm saying? Uh, tell a friend, tell a friend, need more people in 2022. Gotta do it big. What up, Juve? Hey, man, we bringing something new next year, man. That's another prediction, so be on the lookout for future potential. Shout out to everybody who rock with us. Shout out, first off, I ain't gonna shout out my nigga Maurice. He's sitting in the crowd, my favorite nigga on earth. He, he, he was too cute to be on here on the show or whatever and stuff. That nigga. <sighs> That motherfucker Santa Claus hanging off his cheek. <laughs> Shout out to Jason's son. I thought he was just asleep. I looked up. I thought he was asleep, man. I forgot his name. I called him mm-hmm. Jason's son. Yeah. He, his name, Jason. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot to make another prediction. Go ahead. Nigga, I'm about to get on TV. I'm about to go do uh, perform Talk. in New York. Talk I'm about to, hey, I'm not about in to, New York. Not what I'm doing COVID call. Nigga, I'm about to perform in all the places that I have not performed before. I'm about to do shows I ain't never did before. I'm about to do these theaters. Yeah. I'm about to do these stadiums. Yeah. We about to do all of this. We yes. got to pick it all up right now because it's going to happen. I already been on the road to that. We going to get on TV shows, yeah. make like movies, The Fist of the Wasteland. We're going to be a series. Oh, Hallelujah. Hey, this is my, oh. hey, this is my, my deacon. Yeah. Deacon darkness over there. Yes. Coming from the depths of the darkness. But I'm going to speak that over all of us. Though We're going to do things. We're going to uh, manifest all the things that we want and then we're going to uh, uh-huh. multiply Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. We're going to manifest it. 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 We're going to